In this video, we are going to see BitQuery Pump Fun API to get the tokens which are about to graduate. That is, I will get the tokens which have 95% to 100% bonding curve progress in real time. I will add the API link in the description. You guys can test it out on id.bitquery.io. You will get free 10,000 points by just signing up on the ID to test these APIs. Let's start. I have already discussed about the API which can get you bonding curve progress of a pump fund token. I will add the link to that video in the i button. Formula is bonding curve progress is equals to 100 minus balance of the pool minus 206 million upon 793 million in 200. When we equate 95 to this formula, we will get a certain balance value, which will be 246 million 555,000. So that should be the balance of the pool if the bonding curve progress is 95%. And if I put in 100, here in the formula, balance would be 206,900,000. So we have got two balances corresponding to the value of 95% and 100% bonding of progress. So the balance should be in the range of 246 million and 206 million if I want to track tokens between 95% and 100%. Select EAP here, then select Solana, then select Dex Pools. Dex Pools API basically track the liquidity changes in the pools. After selecting Dex Pools, we will select Filter in this where and then select Pool, Base, Post Amount, greater than 206,900,000 and less than 246,555,000. So these would be the balance ranges in the pool. Then select the Dex Program address, which will be the Pump Fund Dex Program address. Also one more filter, we always want to keep the code currency as Sol. Pump fund tokens are traded against Sol. As we are only checking base post amount, that means base currency would be our pump fund currency. So we have to select the code currency as Sol and fix it to Sol only. To do that, select market under that code currency. Mint address is native Sol address. Then select one more filter. Select transaction result success to be true. As I only want to track the successful transactions or the liquidity additions or removals, you can say. Now filters are done. Now select the fields you need to return in the response. Select pool, then market, then base currency. In base currency, select mint address, name, symbol. Also select the market address. Select the code currency details, mint address, name, symbol. Select the DEX details, protocol family, protocol name. Select base post amount, which is the balance of the pool after the liquidity addition or removal. Also select code post amount. Price in USD and post amount in USD. Now change this query keyword to subscription keyword and start running this query. You can see the token addresses here, which is in this base currency mint address. If you check this mint address on any of the screeners, then you will see that the bonding curve progress of this token will be around 95% to 100% range. And that means it's about to graduate. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and head over to our Telegram channel if you have any questions.